Hey everybody, this is Keith from BetterBeatShots.com and I'm going to show you two ways to use the layer mask to help enhance your bead photography. So, for example, with this first bead, uh, you can see that it's on a white background and after I adjust the levels, you'll notice the edges get kind of um, faded out and you start losing the uh, detail of the outside of the bead. So after I adjust all this, you'll see what I mean. Cloning out the stem that's holding it up. All right, I'm gonna flatten this. Now, what I want to do is, I wanna fix up these edges right here. The way I would do that is, first thing I'm going to do is make copy the background layer, go background copy. I'm going to change the background copy uh, mode from normal to multiply. And then from here, I'm going to make a cop or a um, layer mask by making sure the background copy is highlighted. Come down here to this icon, click it, and it creates a uh, layer mask. From here I'm going to make sure this white square is highlighted. Come over here to this paintbrush, make sure it's black, and as I paint in this area, which you can see a little black spot because I painted it in there, it lightens up this area because what it's doing is it's hiding this uh, top layer. Wherever I paint black, it hides it. It almost like erases it without actually erasing it. So if I turn off the background layer, you will see that there's a big hole in the image. See, that's when uh, nothing's exposed. That's when the background copy layer is exposed, but it's but it's like uh, erasing a big hole in the center. So that's, that's uh, actually, let me show you what it looks like when I start painting way out here. That's using the black because the black hides it. Now if I use the white, the white paints it back in. Like so. but we don't want to do that. We just want to darken up the edges. So I'll come back over here to black. Start erasing, not erasing, painting in the black area in the layer mask. And I want it a little bit darker in there, so I'm gonna paint a little bit back in there. Help enhance the edges. All right, so this is what it looks like with the layer mask on there. That's what it looks like without. You can really see the difference between the edges uh, opposed to right there. The layer mask does more than just helps you enhance edges. You can also use it to stylize your image, like with this image here. Uh, this bead, these beads uh, are from Stone Design by Sheila Davis and um, as you can see it's all pretty much in focus but if I want to stylize it and force a depth of field so that it gives it more of a glamour shot look uh, I would use a layer mask. So let's get started. The way I would do it is I would make a copy of the background layer of course um, let's adjust the levels. Let's get the levels looking good. Brighten them up. Darken up the midtones. Don't want to go too far. Like so. Let's go to view saturation. Lower the saturation just a little bit. Alright. Let's flatten the image. And just like I did with the previous beat, I'm going to make a copy of the background layer. So it's background copy. 
from here, instead of uh, changing the modes up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I like this because you can actually adjust how much blur you want. That's a lot, very little, but I'm thinking somewhere around 7. 7 looks good, 7.1. Now from here, if I go to Layer Mask, it fills it in as all uh, white. So what I want to do is I want to expose these, the middle beads, I want them to be like focused on. Make it look like they're focused in the, and I want the other beads to look like they're out of focus. So the way I would do it is make sure the background, the <laughs> make sure the layer mask is highlighted. I'm going to come here where the paint bucket and go to the gradient tool. Make sure it's white and black. And then from here, I can go to the mirror um, a setting for gradient. Click in the middle, pull up. Now you can see this bead here is in focus and the other ones aren't. And the further up you go, you can really adjust it. And if you look over here, you can see the black, and it gradates out to um, the white, which means it's more blurry out here. And if I turn off the background layer, you can see what it's doing. The middle here is hidden. The edges out here are um, exposed or shown. So, just for example, that's with a uh, really tight gradient. That's with a real loose gradient. You can see how you can see through it. But, let's turn on the background so we can see what we're doing. There. All right, so with a simple layer mask and a filter and gradient, uh, you can create um, a real stylized image like that without width. And you can also experiment, experiment with uh, different settings for the gradient. Like here, if I go circle, you can just focus on one bead and all the other ones get out of focus. You can uh, lower the opacity so that you can regain some of the detail of the uh, layer below it. Uh, there's just lots of stuff to do. I, uh, layer masks are really kind of fun. I, I would uh, recommend using it. Okay, well, uh, that's it. Experiment with uh, Photoshop, play around, and uh, discover your own little tricks and techniques. All right.